Hello guys, Golden Soldier here, and what today I'm going to be talking about today is I'm going to be doing a video on how to improve your aim. As you may know, I'm a pretty decent Call of Duty player. I mean, there's better, obviously, but I, I consider myself okay. So the first thing I normally do to get ready to play is I normally warm up. Well, normally what I would do, this is just personal preference, I would go into a gun game because you use so many different guns and you have to get warmed, it helps you get warmed up because you got to use all kinds of different guns. You might get a gun with tons of recoil, you might get a sniper, you just don't know. So that's one way you can warm up and that's the way I prefer to warm up. But other people like to go into private matches and play a TDM versus bots. And that works too, I've done that before, but I've kind of grown past that and I just go right into a gun game because that's just what I like to do. That's usually my warm up and that usually just helps you get your aim on point and get ready to go. Okay, number two, the second thing you gotta be aware of is your sensitivity. I play on, I believe it's a three, I wanna say. And I'm more of an SMG to AR person. And that's just me. I don't snipe that much. I snipe from time to time. Especially in Black Ops, I turn up the sensitivity. In Black Ops 2, I mean. I turn up the sensitivity a lot when I snipe, but not in this game. Uh, if you're a sniper, I recommend anywhere from like 10 to 20 for AR, SMG, shotguns, those kind of things. I recommend from like 1 to 9 not probably not one three to nine would be a better i don't i wouldn't use one and then the marksman rifles would fit in with the snipers from 10 to 20 and that's all preference though that's just my opinion okay another thing that i swear by and this is like the holy grail of aiming in my opinion and you should probably listen is the control freak i'm gonna hopefully have a picture and post it on or put it up quickly i'm sure a lot of you know what it is but it's a little thing, I believe mine cost, well I got bought two and they were like 22 bucks. Because I used the 10% discount code from Elite Shot I want to say is who I used it from. And what it does pretty much is it adds height to your controller stick. Which makes it a whole lot better to aim because you're a lot more precise, you know. Like since it's so long you move it a little bit and it moves it more. And it's just, you can be a lot more precise when aiming. I will say it, it does take a little bit to get used to. It took me about a two days worth of playing to get it used to get used to it and I played for like an hour and a half those days so it does take a little bit getting used to but I definitely recommend it I only use it comes with two but I only use it on the right stick I don't like it on my left one it's just too weird for me and I just got used to using it on one but you can use it just on the left which is kind of defeats the purpose but or you can use it on both or just the right like I do and the ones I recommend they come for PS4 PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360. The ones I have, I have the Phantoms and the Ultras. Those are great. And actually, I'm going to be getting an Xbox One soon, and I'm actually going to order Control Freaks, like, soon. So I, they get them before I get the Xbox One, because I can't play without them. Like, that's that's how used to them get, I'm getting. And they don't sponsor me or anything, so I'm not being paid to say this or any of that you know like like they're not my sponsor i don't have anything to do with them right now i would love to because i like them so much but i'm not so you guys know that it's the truth that i actually really do like to use these okay for the next tip is uh well it's kind of two tips into one and one is strafe and aim down sights and so one thing, if you hit fire too much, uh, that doesn't help too much. You start missing your shots and get into bad habits. I sometimes get into bad habits, especially with the MTAR or the Bison or those SMGs that you can hit fire with really well. Sometimes I'll like try to cross map hit fire a guy, and that does not work. So I want to make sure you aim down sights, unless it's a you know, quick reaction. But try to aim down sights as much as you can. And also make sure you move, you strafe when you shoot. And what is strafing? Well, it's moving your guy side to side instead of moving just your, your, uh, like your gun, you know? It's like to move side to side. So it makes you a harder target to hit. And it makes you a little bit more accurate to adjust instead of moving the right stick. And that's also with the control freak will help with the right stick, though, to make your aim a little bit more precise if you just need a little bit. But strafing, too, definitely helps with that. It... I strafe a lot. I actually drop shot a lot. It's hard to get your aim good when you drop shot. You just kind of spray and hope you hit the guy. But And jump shotting obviously helps too. But that's on another topic. And the last thing I have for a tip is a very 
cheesy tip, but I'm going to say it anyways. It's just play the game. If you play the game, your aim will come. These tips will just help you get that aim better faster. And I have used these tips over the year. Well, year. <laughs> Not even. I got. I started playing Call of Duty in October. I bought them in October. So I haven't even been playing that long, and I can drop a swarm pretty much if you just tell me to go get on now in Black Ops 2. Ghost, I'm a little bit worse at because I don't play it as often because I just haven't liked it as much. So... But my tip is just to play. If you play games a day, games every day, uh, play Clan v Clan, play League Play, play game battles, that kind of stuff, your aim will improve, and you will just get more used to it and move, using, moving the controller around and all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much what I've had to do. That's probably one of the best tips I can give you. This other stuff will just help you improve. I actually didn't use Control Freaks when I first started, and I wish I would have. Honestly, these things are great. So. Just a quick recap, first thing is warm up with the gun game or public match, whatever that may be. Two is sensitivity, make sure you have the proper sensitivity for what game style you like to play with. Uh, another thing is Control Freak, those will definitely help you, which I will link them in the description to buy a Control Freak. Four is to stray fall shooting and aim down sights, uh, kind of went over that. And then the last one is just, just to play and have fun when doing it, because if you just try to go try hard, like quote unquote try hard uh you just won't do as good i i have to have fun when doing it otherwise i just get angry and up and end up quitting playing so those are my tips on how to improve your aim i'm sure there's people have different tips than me but those that's just how i did it and that's how i recommend it so thank you guys for watching and i really hope you did enjoy and leave a like if you're feeling it and if you're not i guess that's okay too at least i can help you so thank you guys and we'll see you guys later peace